Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to filter on bold text. Unfortunately, there's no native way of doing this in Excel, but I'm going to show you two workarounds that are quite easy to achieve. So for the first workaround, you go to Find and Select and then Find. And what you want to find is bold text. Now to achieve that, you go to this Format drop-down, choose Format. Make sure you're on Font and then choose Bold. Click on OK. And then you click on Find All. And you'll see that creates a list of all the cells that contain bold text. Now what we need to do is select all of the cells mm -hmm that we want to base our filter on. So that wouldn't be the column headings. So I'm going to select the first of those cells, hold down shift and select the last of those cells. And you can see it selects all of those cells in my sheet. It looks as though Ivy Green isn't selected, but it is in fact selected. You can see I've got a double border around it. I can then close that dialog box. And all I'm going to do is just apply a random fill color to those cells. So it doesn't really matter what cell color you apply. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can then filter on that color. So if I right click in one of those cells with that background color, I can then go to filter, filter on selected cells color. Okay, so that's the first method. Let's move on to the second method. Now for the second method, you're gonna start by right clicking on the sheet tab and then going to view code. Now you need to make sure you can see the Project Explorer, which is this part of the screen on the left. If you can't see it, just go to View and then Project Explorer. Now you need to make sure that you're in the correct project. I'm working in a workbook called Book 6, so that's my project. So what you do is you just select anything in that project and then go to Insert Module. Now over here in the Code window, you need to paste the code that I provided in the description of this video. So this creates a function for us called isBold. So once you've pasted that in, just close down this Visual Basic Editor window. And what we can now do is use that function to ascertain whether the value in column A is bold. So if we type isBold and then select a cell in column A and then press Enter, you can see it returns true because that contains bold text. Now, if I copy this formula down, you'll see I get a true wherever there's bold text and a false where there isn't. So then what I do is I right click on one of the trues, then I go to filter, and then I go to filter by selected cells value. And there you can see it's filtered by bold text. Now, if you want to retain this is bold function within your workbook, when you save it, you need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. So if I go to File, Save As, you can see in the file type list, there's an option there, Excel macro enabled workbook. That's what you need to select to retain this isBold function.